Hello, and thank you for joining us for the 4-H Essential Elements Training. My name is Kate Eichstead, and I work for the 4-H program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Today, we are going to talk about the key ingredients for a high-quality, positive youth development program. Just as there are key ingredients needed for making a good tasting pizza, there are key ingredients or elements for a quality youth program. There are many different ways to make a pizza. Pepperoni, vegetarian, thick crust or thin crust. But even though all pizzas are not alike, we still recognize them as pizza. Just as not all pizzas are alike, not all 4-H programs look the same either. But we can recognize these different varieties as pizza as pizza because they contain some basic common ingredients. And we can identify certain common key ingredients that make a quality youth program. Today we hope that you will take away key ingredients to add to your 4-H programs. Today we'll be using the pizza analogy to help us learn about the eight essential elements. So please take out a piece of paper, a scrap paper uh, of any kind is fine, and go ahead and draw a large circle. Now draw a circle inside that one. Now, draw eight slices. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. This will be your template to take notes on the essential elements. The big M of 4-H. All youth have four developmental needs that must be met. And those are belonging, independence, generosity, and mastery. Youth will find ways to meet these needs in either negative ways or positive ways. 4-H helps youth meet these needs through positive youth development experiences. We will now break down each of these developmental needs of youth and see how we can meet them using the eight essential elements. A positive relationship with a caring adult is one of the most important ingredients of a positive youth development program. Young people in clubs or groups are directly impacted by the relationships with a caring adult just like you. Ongoing interactions with you create a supportive relationship that nurtures club members as they learn. As a result, your members feel confident to try new things, tackle more difficult tasks, and set higher goals. For each of the elements, we will discuss um, what the, the element looks like when it's present, and then ways that you can support the element. You can add these tips onto your template. So this element is present when adults address the youth members by their first names. When, an, when adults also know the interest of the youth that are, is outside of their program. And adults pay attention to the activities of individual youth members outside of meetings, events, and activities of 4-H. Ways to support this element is to train adult leaders in listening skills. Use name tags to help everyone be on a first name basis. Structure group activities set so that both youth and adults have time to learn about one another. Encourage adults to interact with youth, not merely act as a chaperone or a supervisor. The next element is a safe environment. 
As a volunteer, you are responsible for providing a safe emotional and physical environment. You set the tone for the group. Encourage positive interactions amongst the members. Stop put downs or teasings that could lead to hurt feelings. Always praise teamwork. Help members work towards common goals. Youth should not fear physical or emotional harm while participating in the 4-H experience, whether that's from the learning environment itself or from adults, other participants, or spectators. This element is present when youth groups do not tolerate bullying, cliques, or put-downs. Adult leaders and volunteers are screened before they can begin working with the youth group. Adults plan the safety aspects into all meetings, camps, events, or trips. Ways that you can help support this element is to train adults to be consistent in how they deal with misbehaviors. Make sure all leaders, adults as well as youth, are trained in risk assessment. Actively engage youth in planning, implementing, and evaluating programs. Survey youth about ways to improve the group's environment. The next element is an inclusive environment. Creating an inclusive environment begins with the acknowledging and celebrating the similarities and differences in group in the, in the group, which helps them feel accepted and appreciated. When youth feel accepted and appreciated, they're more likely to participate and become engaged in the learning activities. An inclusive environment allows a sense of belonging to develop, supports members, and offers encouragement with positive and specific feedback. Healthy groups celebrate the success of all members, taking pride in the collective effort of all. We see this element when youth members encourage each other during fairs, sports events, or academic challenges. Members feel they belong to a specific club or group while knowing that they also belong to a larger state and national organization and its efforts. The signs, banners, t-shirts, and recognition bearing your club's name and symbols. And that all members feel free to invite and welcome new members into the group. Here's some ways that you can support this element. You could you make buttons, t-shirts, hats, or other symbols that signify your group membership. Actively seek out others to diversify membership in your group. Provide for many forms of recognition, not to those that just excel in the competition. Involve everyone right from the beginning through icebreakers and get acquainted activities. The next essential element is mastery. Mastery is the building of knowledge, skills, and attitudes, and then demonstrating those new skills. The level of mastery is dependent on the developmental ability of each youth. The developmental of, developmental of mastery is a process that takes place over time and could be many years. This element is present when members grow in project areas that capture their interest. Youth eventually assist or mentor others in the same area. Youth demonstrate what they have learned and the skills that they have developed. Here's how you can help support that skill. Work with youth to help them establish realistic goals. Provide opportunities for youth to practice and demonstrate their skills. Allow for youth to reflect on successes, setbacks, growth, and pride. Plan developmentally appropriate activities and accommodate diverse learning styles. Ensure that all programs have a progression of 
difficulty and challenge. Provide numerous opportunities for youth to serve as teachers. Provide youth with training in how to teach and facilitate others effectively. Engagement. A youth engaged in learning is one who is mindful of the subject area, building relationships in order to develop greater understanding. Through self-reflection, youth have the ability to self-connect and learn from the experience. The engaged learner has a higher degree of self-motivation and an inexhaustible capacity for creativity. We see this element when members of various ages, backgrounds, and abilities are working together on a community service project. Members work together, plan activities, and clearly enjoy being involved. Watch members grow and mature as they plan and lead organizational activities, and members, by choice, become leaders of the group. Here's ways that you can support that element. Provide opportunities where youth are intellectually stimulated and challenged. Help youth design real projects that make a difference to others. Create experiences with youth that relate to real life situations. Our next element is self-determination. That's believing that one has an impact over their life's situations rather than passively submitting to the will and whims of others. Youth must exert a sense of influence over their lives, exercising their potential to become self-directing adults. This element is present when youth members choose projects, activities, or hobbies, um, or do they choose to drop out of the organization or a team because of their changing interest. Youth consider uh, for themselves what they want. Youth choose and plan organizational activities and team events or choose projects. Here's some ways that you can support self-determination. Give youth numerous opportunities to set their own goals. Provide an environment where they can safely try new things and challenge themselves. Avoid the tendency to solve problems for youth. Be supportive and allow them to come to their own solutions. Have adult leaders act more as guides on the side rather as sage on the stage. Seeing oneself in the future. The ability to see oneself in the future is to have hope and optimism to shape life's choices to facilitate the transition into the participating into the future. We see this element present when youth members draw on their various interests to help choose possible career paths and hobbies. Members look forward to being a leader in the in the organization. Youth make plans for the upcoming year. The club shares the excitement about a future activity or opportunity. Here's some ways that you can support this element. Encourage youth to set goals for themselves five, ten years into the future that are challenging yet achievable. Provide opportunities for youth to realize some of their goals through programs and projects. Give youth opportunities to develop an idea and see it through to completion. Encourage youth to think positively. And now for our last element, service. Youth, young people need to feel their lives have meaning and purpose. They need opportunities to connect to their communities and learn how to give back to others. Opportunity to value and practice service for others. 
Finding oneself begins with losing the self in service to others. Service is a way for members to gain exposure to the larger community and the world itself. This element is present when youth joyfully serve others through community improvement projects. Youth show mutual support for others within the organization. Youth can identify community needs and design solutions to meet those needs. Here's some ways that you can help support that. Allow youth to brainstorm community needs. Encourage youth to use their skills to help others. Act as a guide to help youth follow through with the commitments and projects that they have planned. And those are our eight essential elements. When all the elements are present, then we have a high quality product, which is our 4 H Positive Youth Development Program. I hope that there are some of the key ingredients that you can add or increase into your program. If you have any questions on the eight essential elements or how that you or how to improve your program, please contact your county 4-H agent. Thank you for all that you do for the youth in the 4-H program. Without you, it is not possible to have these wonderful programs. For training record purposes, please let your county agent know that you've watched this training. You'll also have a link provided that you can go to for a short quiz and to enter your name for training record purposes. Please go to the link provided. Thank you and have a wonderful day.